Hey everybody, Chris Shea for Apotsky Outdoors. Today we come to you from Northern California. We're on Lake Shasta and as you can see, it's hot outside. Over 100 degrees, but you know what? Some of the best trout fishing in the entire Western United States can be found just beneath us in levels anywhere from 30 over down to 100 feet where the thermocline has started to set and the rainbows and the browns and a few Chinook are hanging out. We're gonna come out here today with Jeff Goodwin of Jeff Goodwin's Guide Service and we're gonna troll for some of the best trout in the Western United States. Come with us, you'll see how we do it, why we do it, and tangle in with some of the best tasting and pink meat eating trout that there are. Now we're out here on uh, Shasta Lake today. It's uh, midday. Uh, we're chasing a uh, big rainbow trout, big brown trout. Uh, these trout like to sit over deep water um, in the, uh, the heat of the day. And uh, that's, uh, that's where we're gonna target them, you know, 40 to 50 feet. Uh, we're gonna fish over the main channel, uh, the old riverbed, uh, the Sacramento River, uh, that existed prior to Shasta Dam being built. And uh, we're gonna try rolling some uh, firebrine shad, some firebrine herring, and uh, see if we can pick up some nice fish. There's the brown. Keep the rod above Chris's head there. Almost, and he doesn't want to come yet. Okay, reel down. Nice colors on this beautiful brown. Reel down, keep it tight. <laughs> reel down, keep reeling. Look at that, in the net he goes. Another big brown, Lake Shasta. Hey, we're out here on Shasta Lake today, fishing for uh, rainbow and brown trout. Uh, we just got this beautiful brown trout in the boat, uh, trolling a, uh, a blue hoochie uh, tipped with fire brine shad. Uh, these guys really love that presentation, and here's your proof. Shasta Lake, brown trout. Uh, we've been fishing Shasta Lake quite a bit, and uh, the reason uh, we are is because the fishing is so good, um, especially this time of year. Uh, we're coming into late spring, early summer, and we're targeting rainbow trout, uh, brown trout, and uh, some king salmon here and there. Um, we're getting, uh, you know, multi-pound fish every single day, and uh, you know, as as the summer increases uh, in activity uh, with these fish that are associated to the bait in this system, um, our catch rates are going to get even better, and the fish are going to grow. Uh, we got until about September, um, late September of, of this season before you know things cool off, the lake turns over, and you know, we start a, a new season here on Shasta again. Yeah, I think so. Watch the other line, Dad. Lift it up. It's a brown. It's. Oh, it is. It is a brown. It's another brown. Ah, ah. Four browns, one angler. Here we go with the, uh, this is a Shasta Lake rainbow, but a very unique looking fish. Um, the coloration on the back, uh, the large spots. Um, coming up to the boat, we thought it might be a brown, but it's, it's definitely a rainbow. Um, good fight, nice line burning action here on Shasta Lake with a uh, Cut bows, brown bows, whatever you want to call them. They're great fish. Oh, you know what? The, the, the best thing about fishing in Shasta Lake is that at, at any given minute or moment um, while you're trolling or, or casting into potential areas for, for fish, you can hook a fish of a lifetime. And it's happened many times um, throughout the years uh, to a lot of folks. And every year um, I, get, I get folks that come out and fish with me and, and uh, they just they're elated that they caught the biggest fish of their life or the first brown trout of their life um, and they're all prized fish because uh, these are cold water species um, and even though we have warm water temperatures in the summertime um, the fish maintain you know a, a very healthy uh, position and their 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 table fare is is above average um, and i would describe it really and most of my clients do as excellent you know, what we got here is a, uh, it's a red label herring. Uh, it's, it's cured in a natural uh, Potsky fire brine. And we're gonna use these bait heads to, to put the proper spin on these, uh, these herring for these uh, big browns and rainbows. That's really easy device to use. 
Um, it's got a wire instilled in it so we can get that perfect bend every time. So we're just gonna stick it in the side here, run it down the spine. I got a little bit of a curve in it. It's a little bit easier to do this when you have a curve in the spine. Because we're gonna end up with that curve anyways. Now we just keep pushing this thing forward, pushing it forward until we get this thing locked in. We got its head inserted um, in, the, in the bait head. You can see we can straighten this bait out or we can go ahead and turn it. That puts a really good kick in these baits. And uh, if you find a pattern that's working for you, a nice tight spin or even a round spin, um, you can, the repeatability on this is very good. So we're gonna secure that piece of, uh, piece of uh, whole herring in there with a the little pin. Um, we like to have some toothpicks on standby just in case we, uh, we lose that pin. Um, and then we're just gonna go ahead and secure this bait I use an octopus hook and we're going to pull this tight through. Now this thing's not going to move. Uh, we got a number four uh, treble we're going to use as a trailer um, and this is, this is really effective in making sure that, that these fish stay hooked once we do hook them. Next thing to do is start trolling and tune that bait and make sure it's ready to roll for these trout and Shasta Lake. Step back or are you good? Step back. You got him. That's a nice fish. Really nice fish. Holy. Where are you going? Where are you going, big guy? Careful with that other line. <laughs> There's one, one way to make the fish go the way you want it to go. Hey guys, uh, we're still out here in Shasta Lake. We're getting ready to color up some uh, some of our red label herring and uh, threadfin shad. Uh, blue is a really good color for me out here. Um, I really like to give the, the fish an option. Uh, different days, different flavors, different colors. Um, that's how we get things done and that's how we get fish in the boat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that, grab a handful of uh, threadfin shad here, put them in the bag and we got some red label herring here that we got all cured up and ready to go in the fire brine. And this fire dye is, a, is an amazing product. Um, all I have to do is squirt some of that dye on this, this bait, set it down. Gloves are a great idea um, unless you want your, your hands to be blue. And I'm just going to mix these baits around real gently. They're already toughened up by the fire brine. And a little bit of rock salt but you can see we got we got instant results here we got almost a purple hue to them that's going to be great for today's fishing uh, we got our thread fin shad we got our uh, red label herring and we're going to put these to work on uh, some some bait heads and uh, some uh, shad rigs for that we used to, to roll the shad here in Shasta double we got a double we got a double Jeff gets free lunch today. <laughs> Keep reeling, Daddy. That's a nice fish, though. That's a brown. Holy! Looks like a lake trout. Look at that thing. Woo! Yeah, you gotta step back. Keep it up. Yeah, just let him sit there. As soon as he comes up, we need a little pressure on him. Lift the rod up, Dad. Yeah. Right, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Holy Jeff. Holy. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's a Oh man, look at this. Woo! This is more of those, uh, you know, ocean looking green for a brown trout. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Dark green. Water surface. These guys blend in real good. Oh yeah, he's there. Good end, Short meter on this one, so it'll be right. 
Big fish. Nice rainbow. Nice one. Wow. Good for you. Hey, we caught a lot of uh, rainbow trout on Shasta Lake today. Uh, you guys saw the saw some of the footage. And, um, you know, one of our hot baits uh, today was uh, shad, a firebrine shad. Um, here's some colors that we used that, that were really effective. Uh, blue natural and chartreuse. Uh, these, uh, you know, dyed baits really help, uh, you know, stand out in the water column at, at different levels. And um, my favorite is, uh, is blue right now. Uh, Shasta is a, a blue and silver kind of a lake. Um, but we had success with the, the chartreuse as well today. Hey guys, uh, one of the ways that we're running these uh, these uh, firebrine shad is on these hoochie rigs. Um, these are a great rig. It's a double hook rig. I got a little uh, tinsel skirt in there, uh, sunrise uh, squid, and a spin glow. I like to first piece I use on these on these uh, shad is a tail. And one of the, the cool things about this uh, this tail is that it's got skin on both sides. So it's going to be a real tough piece of meat. It's going to stay on there really hard or really long. And it's going um, to be hard for those fish to take off uh, when they bite it. So sometimes we'll get we'll get a couple of fish out of one, one piece of meat. So here it is. Short leader behind a dodger. And you're fishing. Hey guys, uh, one last thing I'm going to show you for a Shasta Lake or a rainbow and brown trout is a rolled shad. Uh, we got a treble and a, a single hook, a sliding rig system here. Really easy. Take your hook through the top of the, of the bony side of the head, through the underside of the jaw, slide your hook back, treble's in back by the tail, pull it up tight, put a little kick in the, in the uh, shad, check it next to the side of the boat, make sure you're gonna, you're gonna get a nice tight roll in your shad. Um, that's how you're going to catch Shasta Lake rainbows and browns. Today's episode of Ponsky Outdoors comes to you from Northern California. We're on a familiar place right now. We're at Lake Shasta, one of the largest reservoirs in all of the western United States. Now, everybody knows Lake Shasta is huge. It's got 30,000 surface acres when full. It's up to 517 feet deep, has 365 miles of shoreline, and realistically, one of the best rainbow and brown trout fisheries in all of California. Now today we're out here with Jeff Goodwin at Jeff Goodwin's Guide Service and we're doing one thing. We're trolling. It was kind of fun today. I was able to bring my two uncles and my dad out to film Potsky Outdoors today and what a time did everybody have. Armed with several baits, mostly chartreuse, natural, and blue firebrine shad. We really came out there and caught some really nice rainbows off the downriggers today. You know, we troll by guys that are out there in their regular boats, out there in their houseboats, and we drop down these firebrine shad, whether it was just tipping baits with pieces of them or running just shad. We got into some real nice rainbows, some real nice browns, and even during the heat of summer, like it's going to be today, it's going to be over 100 degrees in Reading today. It might start out at 60, but it's going to reach high, which means you need downriggers to get down deep, and we are trolling the main body of water today. So the I-5 bridge is in the, in the vicinity. And uh, we're right near where everybody, all the lawn trips are, all the busy traffic is, all the boaters are. And right beneath them, we have what we came for. Beautiful rainbow and beautiful brown trout in a beautiful setting with Lake Shasta in the background. What more could you ask for here in Northern California? Mm -hmm.